Hello everyone and welcome back to Lakeside or rather the kitchen. Um, so this should be the last time you see me in the kitchen. The next time you should see me up in Lakeside. Because I've now actually finished the build for the block. Um, it's pretty much done. It's not quite there but it, it's pretty much done. I'm waiting from scale model scenery some um, I think they're called bonnards uh, mooring bonnards which go on here they're just little round efforts which go on here which you tie your ropes up when you're mooring the longboat um, and uh, or the barge or whatever it is um, so I'm just waiting for those to come so I can install those on here there's about three on each side um, it's now all glued down, the bridge is glued, the ladders are glued. The only thing which I haven't glued are the gates um, because I want to leave those so that I can take them off to do the um, water. And I want to do some um, water coming through the joints uh, which you always get. On the, on the gates so I've got that sort of thing to do so the gates aren't glued in position yet um, uh, will only be these ones which are glued these ones won't be glued apart from the hinge to here um, but they will be free to operate should I wish um, I've got little things like to paint the ends of these handles for the um, the gates I need to paint the ends white uh, so it's little tiny things like that really but the main bulk is now done so if I lift this up now the light in here is absolutely terrible um, you'll probably see it better in daylight or uh, up on the lakeside but the lights in here are just awful um, now you probably can't tell from that but I've done quite a bit of work on the top here whether that and the walling on here so I've put algae growing I don't know if, you, if that's going to come up on the camera so it's not very particularly good lighting in here I'll put algae on the green algae on the gates um, <clears throat> and in daylight I think it looks bloody lovely um, it really does work well I've got some gro overgrown grass here at the moment which is not complete <clears throat> but I won't do that until it's installed in the canal itself because then I can blend in the embankments <clears throat> either side and then I can then carry on and finish off the grass so what you see here is only uh, if you like a base for the grass and if it comes out looking very greeny yellow colour that's the camera but it's, it's a good mix of grass on there but I will finish that off once it's installed but overall I'm absolutely thrilled to bits with this. It's come out so well. <clears throat> but if I hold it to the light like that, you might get a better shot of it. So that's pretty much as it is now. So obviously the water's got to be done. Again, that will be done when it's installed. Um, but apart from that, it's complete. So water, those three boy things, um, and that's about it. And then I've just got to blend this into the embankment at the side of the canal. Now I did go up this morning and check that does this fit on what I've got at the moment. And it does pretty much up to a certain point. <clears throat> There's a bit down this end where... Um, where I was going to be using my previous lock um, I've made it 
slightly narrow so I've got to just move that embankment back a bit for it to fit but that's really not a huge job um, and then of course adjust the water levels so uh, going up to the castle that is uh, this end I haven't got to adjust because I haven't got anything to adjust to because I've done no water levels that side going towards the viaduct so it's only this side where I've got to adjust water levels to match this once it's embedded into the layout so I'm just over the moon with this I really am it's a great kit to build as I said before um, really nothing to complain about at all um, yeah just love it to bits so the next video so this is quite, quite a short video so the next video will be me up in Lakeside installing this or <laughs> attempting to install it um, in its pos final position near the castle um, and then I've got to really just carry on this side which is going down to the viaduct with the canal sides. I've also bought some time ago from Scarborough Scenery some canal edging um, so I can use that. I've got to trim it down because it would be too high but um, <clears throat> I can use that to line the canal up. So all in all uh, very pleased. So what this has done is now made it possible for me to carry on and complete, start completing that one side of the layout which was the primary reason for, for getting this kit. Um, I didn't want any flapping around with the previous lock I did um, because it's just going to take forever <coughs> for me to do that. So there we go. So next video will be this being installed into the canal. Okay, so hopefully you'll get some um, some better ideas. I will put at the end of the video a couple of still shots which I've taken outside which gives you a better idea but the, the colour of the grass here has turned out really um, kind of yellowy colour uh, and it's not, it's green. Um, but you'll get an idea of the weathering better than what you probably have done here. So I'll put those couple of shots at the end of the video. Okay, so thank you for watching. Uh, probably one more video to go for the series of this lock, uh, which will be, be me installing it. Okay, so thanks for all your time and effort you've put into watching the three so far. Um, it's really appreciated and I hope you've gained something from it too, for your own layout. That's the main thing. Okay, bye for now and uh, I'll speak to you again soon. Bye.